All right, folks, this is Rifle Country, and I'm glad to be here. Welcome back to This is Rifle Country. And one of the great things about being in rifle country is that you have the opportunity to really stretch out your skills and your rifle. Now we are out here in Carbon County and we are at the Spur Outfitters rifle range and we can shoot all the way out to a mile here. Now, not every rifle is mile capable. Sure, the bullet might travel that far, but can you reliably hit targets at distances beyond 500 yards, six, seven, thousand, maybe even a mile? Now, the rifle that I have in front of me today, this is the Mossberg Patriot Predator Rifle. It is a bolt action gun, and this one is chambered in 6.5 Creedmoor. And that is the new hotness when it comes to long distance shooting. Now this rifle in particular is the basically entry level uh, of their line. They have far more expensive rifles. If you're looking for, I guess, a gateway drug into the 6.5 Creedmoor, this is what you've got right here. Uh, the rifle comes with a five round detachable box magazine. Obviously it is a bolt action, has your safety lever over here located in the normal position. On top, you have a Picatinny slash Weaver rail, and it's gonna be up to you to secure an optic and rings and so forth later on. The stock is polymer, and this one, I actually have two stocks for this rifle. <laughs> I have the original tan stock, and then I have this one, which is Duracoated white, because very soon out here in rifle country, we're going to have snow on the ground, and I'm gonna go out after predators with this. Now, on the front, what I've done, these rifles all come with a threaded barrel. The muzzle is threaded, and it's threaded to accept 30 caliber adapters. And so what I've done is I have put an adapter plus a 762 silencer. This is from AAC, and of course you can get those. You can go to silencershop.com, shop around for 30 caliber silencers. Why a 30 caliber silencer? Why a 762 silencer? If you're going to be shooting rifles in the 308 range, 223, and everything in between 223 and 308, such as 65, uh, it is a good option to have. Uh, this And this silencer does a fantastic job quieting down this cartridge. Now, what uh, optic did I choose for this? Because I knew I was going to be shooting long distance with this gun. I went to the Brownells catalog, and from the Brownells catalog, I chose the Leupold VX3. This is the VX3i and it obviously has external adjustments. We have an external knob up top with a zero stop. Now over here, if you look closely, you'll see that the windage knob is actually covered. What you're gonna to wanna to do is adjust your windage, and then once your windage is zeroed, you put the cap on and you don't touch it again. There's two schools of thought when it comes to wind. There are those that will dope wind, that is, and they will make adjustments for the wind, and then there are those who will use their reticles to hold over for the wind. I am of the school where I believe that you should hold for wind, not dope for wind, because wind is always changing, and out here, the wind can be coming hard from the west, and then 15 minutes later, it can shift and come from the south, and an hour later, it can be coming hard from the east. So instead of doping for the wind, I will just hold for the wind. Obviously you have your adjustments here. Uh, this scope is an 8.5 by 25 power, and you say, wow, that's a lot of power. Yes, but with this rifle, I'm gonna be shooting beyond 1,000 yards, because where I am, I have the opportunity to do that. What ammo am I using? Well, thank you for asking. This is the Black Hills Gold. I have both the 143 grain and 147 grain bullets from Black Hills. This ammunition, I've tested it on paper, and as long as the shooter does their part, this will shoot below inch every day, all day long, somewhere in the neighborhood between three quarters and seven eighths inch 
all the time. From this rifle, which is actually price pointed, I believe, less than $500. Of course, that cost is before you buy a scope. When it comes to buying optics, how much do you want to spend? How far do you want to shoot? If you're going to shoot 100 yards, if you're going to be in a, a deer stand in Pennsylvania and a 75 yard shot is your average, you don't need a thousand dollar scope. You don't need a 25 power scope. But if you're going to stretch it out, if you really hope to shoot long distances, a thousand or more, spend the money on good glass.